I got a story for every snap on my Kodak. From a shorty to my twenties, I got a throwback. Huh, so who gives a fuck about your TV teeth? This right here, a throwback story on your TV screen. All right, so welcome to another episode of Throwback Thursday Stories. Um, I'm your host, Eric, and we're going to, you know, get back to the basics this week. You know, I'm going to tell a story of mine again. So we're going to flash back to when I was 18 years old. I had just graduated high school, and then me and one of my homies from high school, we had got an apartment together. Now, this apartment was like a fucking frat house. Like, it would be people running in and out all the time, people spending the night. It was party every night. I actually got fired from a job because of this apartment, but that's a different story. Um, This particular night, uh, it was me, my roommate, and my cousin Lil B. He was in town or whatever, and it just so happened, like, it was like two or three days before payday. Like, I'm broke. I'm spending all my money on weed and drinking and tricking, going out with girls and all that, so I was broke. So then my roommate, he had just lost his bank card the day before, and he was waiting like two to three days till his bank card came, so he didn't have any money either. So we smoking or whatever. And we hungry as fuck. House is empty. No food. So I forget whose idea what it was. But someone was like, why don't we just go steal some food? I'm like, man, what? Nigga, that's stupid as fuck. The fuck I look like stealing groceries, man. Get the fuck out of here. So then we smoke another joint. And then I'm like, yeah, that was a lightweight good idea. Like, let's go steal some groceries, yo. Like, I'm hungry as fuck. So we like, all right, cool. So we suit up and shit. We put on these big ass coats. Like we look like we getting ready for an Iraq war. Like we suiting up. So we got a plan. We know, you know, who gonna go in what doors. You know, where we gonna come out. Boom, we ready. So we go to this Myers. It was a Myers real close by our house or whatever. So we go into Myers. We go over the plan again in the car. Like this is what we gonna do. Boom, boom, boom. We go in the store. You know, we all go in different doors. You know, we can't make it look like we all together type shit. So we get in there. We in there for about like five minutes or whatever. I look up. These niggas is like going out the door. I'm like, okay, these niggas is professionals. Like these niggas came in, got they shit, and they leaving. These goofy motherfuckers. The homie, he get out the door. My cousin, he drops a two liter at the door. Like a two liter just drops out his coat right at the door. So I'm like, man, this nigga, man, he about to get us all caught. So like, you know, the people hear something, they get to looking around, whatever. They don't see it. They make it to the car. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Now it's my turn. I got to get my shit. And then we all home safe. Like, we good. I'm the last one. I'm Kobe in the clutch. I'm going to bring it home. So now, like, I'm indecisive as hell. Like, I'm an indecisive person in general. So I don't know what I'm going to get. Like, bro, like, what I'm going to steal? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I ain't trying to get too much shit. I'm like, you know, it's a little something. So I'm going down the aisle trying to figure something out. These niggas is blowing my phone up. It's vibrating the fuck out of my pocket. Like, I'm like, all right, come on, E. We got to get some shit, and we got to get the fuck out of here. So, boom, I get my shit. I leave out. I get back to the car. These niggas then got, like, good shit. These niggas is pulling out big-ass DiGiorno's and Red Barons and Hot Pockets, Pizza Rolls. Like, these niggas got drinks and shit. I'm like, okay, we good. These niggas is good. So then my roommate, like, yo, E, so, like, what'd you get? I'm like, shit, I got my shit, you know, you know what I mean? I, I did my thing, you know? So, boom, I pulled my shit out. He like, Eric, what the fuck is that? I'm like, yo, what do, what do you mean, nigga? I got ramen noodles. What, what do you mean, nigga? We need this. This is good shit. This is like six or eight meals. He like, Eric, you stole a dollar's thirty worth of product. We have more money than that in our couch. What are you doing? You're supposed to get the good shit. I'm like, hey, man, listen, man, like, because, like, now I feel offended, you know, I mean, like, I got my shit, like, I stole, you said steal meals, I stole meals, regardless of how much it's worth, I got meals, bro, this is food, so I'm like, yo, what, what do you mean, nigga, like, I got food, bro, like, shit, fuck it, I eat it, he like, man, whatever, like, no, like, that's not good, I'm like, bro, what do you mean it's not good enough, like, I'm not going back in that bitch, it's over, like, I'll eat the noodles, I ain't tripping, so, like, we full out arguing, in the parking lot, like, we ain't even left it. We just arguing about, like, how my shit ain't good enough, like. So, like, 10 minutes go by, whatever. We get back to the crib. Bro won't let it go. Like, yeah, like, I can't believe you still raving noodles. I'm like, bro, fuck it. We good. Well, I mean, shit, for real, for real, I think the noodles was the first to go. Like, they ate them motherfuckers first because I, I had the good shit. I got the beef, you know, the chicken. I think I got a couple Orientals, you know. You know, niggas love seafood. Um... And I got the creamy chicken. Like, I had the good shit, bro. Like, don't knock my shit. You feel me? And plus, 
the reason why I had only got the noodles, you know, another one of my thoughts was like, yo, if I do get caught, they not going to convict me of a crime over a dollar 30. Like, bro, you're not going to give me a felony over a dollar 30. Like, come on. Like, let's be real. You feel me? So I outsmarted them niggas for real. You know, like I was thinking. Um, Myers, um, please don't, you know, send me to jail over a dollar 30. Like if y'all want the money, I got it now. Like I can give it to y'all now, but don't, don't fuck up a nigga life for a dollar 30. Like, come on. Like I got big shit going on. Like felony will fuck all that up. So let me live.